Hi guys, Steam is out here, more than just a pen. Today's video, we are going to be drawing Mario. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, you know we're about, we're all about a bullpen pen. And I said Mario, and some of you are probably thinking, Mario, why are you drawing a cartoon for? Someone like you should be drawing something else, like realistic portraits and stuff. But wait, 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 wait a minute. Today's video, that's what it's about. I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I still draw cartoons and the benefits of it. So, let's get into this video. Let's go. The number one reason that I will say is practice. It's great practice, especially if you're a beginner wanting to learn the basic of drawing in ballpoint pen and in pencil or any type of medium to start off with something known as simple. It's the best way, I believe, for a beginner. And let's just talk about the sketch first. When sketching something like a cartoon, let's just use this Mario one. You have to break it down, every component of the drawing in order to create the most accurate sketch you can. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that the best way I preach is doing the Lego technique. So you literally build it up piece by piece by piece, um, looking at things that line up, trying to connect things together. It's the best approach that I've learned since I started drawing. And I feel like that's the best approach for someone who's drawing freehand. Breaking it down, the reason why I say break it down is because sometimes when you look at a drawing in full, it can be overwhelming and you can get distracted by the whole drawing. Whereas if you break it down, you're just looking at simple shapes and after putting all these simple shapes together, you've got a complete sketch, which is great. It's an awesome approach, I believe. And those of you that follow me and have practiced this before, have also said it to me like it's great. It worked well for me and it's a great approach. Let's be honest here, if you can't sketch a cartoon accurately. Let's, you have to be honest with yourself as well. When you do the sketch, you have to be, okay, that's a bit off. This is a bit off. That's a bit off. Be honest with yourself, critique yourself. Don't be like, nah, it's, part, it's fine, it's perfect, when you really know it's not. Draw a cartoon again. Don't be afraid to draw it again and see if you can improve. I've drawn multiple cartoons, multiple times the same. Another way to improve even drawing cartoons is drawing them with different postures. Uh, as you can see with this Mario one, his posture's fairly difficult in order to get the arms right and the leg posture and everything right. It's, f it's fairly difficult. Like a lot of people looking at this saying, oh, it's Mario, it's easy. No, it's not. In order to get the posture right, I had to do a lot of calculating and obviously doing the whole Lego technique. So try to do that as well. Try to challenge yourself as you go along. You just don't want to draw like just the face of a cartoon character because sooner or later it's going to get boring for you. So you want to start drawing, to advance, you want to start drawing different postures and different shapes and stuff like that in order to advance. Once you start doing this stuff, practicing this stuff day after day after day after day. There was a day when I was younger where I was drawing cartoons, I think. I was doing like three, four cartoons every day for over a year straight. That's what I was doing. Cartoons, cartoons, cartoons. And if you look at my first one, compared to my last one during that year, the improvement was crazy. Like if I started recording videos when I was back then, I think my art would even be better now because obviously I could watch myself and see where I was going wrong and critique myself in an honest way. Master this, try different positions, see how you can improve that. And then from there, you can start taking it forward. But the beginning, I tell you, I advise you to take baby steps. So focus on just trying to get sketches right. Um, that will help you in order to get proportions right when it comes to drawing faces and stuff like that. Um, challenge yourself, go deep into it, get better and better and try to do more difficult cartoons, more advanced postures and stuff like that. And the next step after that is applying pressure. It's like the Bruce Lee saying, I don't fear a man that practices 10,000 different kicks. I fear a man that practices one kick 10,000 times. And that's the same when it comes to drawing and art and stuff. If you practice the basics multiple, multiple times and, and master them, it will affect your drawings in the future. And it's something that you will take forward with you. Like layering, the reason why I choose cartoons to do my layering and focus on my pressure is because you have flat colors. And I believe flat colors are probably the hardest thing to do when it comes to drawing in ballpoint pen to keep that consistency. And when you're trying to practice pressure, what's the first thing you need to do in order to manage the pressure is practice that consistency. So when you draw in a flat color, you can instantly see where you've pressed too hard, where you've 
press too light and things like that you can just see it because it's such a you're supposed to create a flat color but it's come out different levels cartoons because there's so many cartoon characters it's literally just flat colors there's no like blending of this and that and that stuff it's just flat colors it's a great way to practice your pressure in order to master it and that's part of the reason why I love drawing cartoons it always takes me back to the beginning learn the fundamentals of ballpoint pen drawing and practicing that pressure man just building up the drawing and trying to feel and remember that stroke that nice stroke that I'm doing and trying to keep that stroke consistent as well that is the number two reason why I draw cartoons pressure it helps with my pressure so much it reminds me constantly do not forget the pressure, do not forget the pressure because once you forget that, you're not going to be able to get that realistic factor you're looking for as well when you're drawing realistic portraits and your drawing's going to look scruffy, it's just going to look amateur and we don't want that, we want it to look as clean as we can get it. Layering is so important when it comes to ballpoint pen and cartoons make you do that a lot a lot a lot a lot as in this drawing look if you look at this drawing i've done multiple layers i've mixed multiple colors with the base the flat color like red the helmet i've mixed it in with brown that's something i've recently discovered it took me a while to get there before i used to use black that was obviously when i was limited in color and i thought you know what start trying something else so instead of using black in darker areas i always try to use like a darker tone of that color or use a different color aside from black because sometimes when you use black it just ruins the drawing and black I try to avoid it as much as I can but building up layers the, my technique for layering is use the primary color the flat color in this case let's say red for the helmet and then I will apply the brown and then I'll bring back the red in order to merge the two together that's basically my technique for it that's the technique i'll i'll be using for the rest of my life in every type of drawing i do so cartoons another great way to master layering it helps you out tremendously when i'm drawing cartoons i discover so many things like whether it's blending new colors together in order to create a different tone or whether it's just trying out something new like if i want to experiment with color mixing and things like that or colors that blend together well or which ones don't work and stuff like that i will use a cartoon to do that um just choose a cartoon and say you know what today i'm just gonna use green and blue and just see what kind of tones i can make by using green and blue to create this drawing um it's a bit like i did with my i don't know if i have the image or anything but if you guys follow me on instagram you probably have seen it my gohan drawing where i literally use purple and pink together to create gohan because his outfit Super Saiyan 2 was purple so I just decided you know what today I'm just gonna draw him in purple and pink and create a drawing and see what tones I can get it came out better than I expected but again practice it was just something that I thought of and I was like let me try it let me do it it's to experiment with different colors mixing them together and trying out different things another thing I will say about drawing cartoons is the more advanced you get so when you've mastered the pressure mastered the layering and stuff like that then you can start focusing on the whole lighting and shadows so you start using cartoons that have like shadows like dark shadows and you're like okay now i need to make darker tones of colors in like half of the drawing and that's another way to blend both pressure and layering together um, understanding how much pressure you need to apply off the darker color and then obviously how much layering you need to do in order to create that tone whereas lighting you need to know where to use the paper to your advantage you need to know where okay this part i need to leave it white because obviously you don't have a white pen or anything like that and so you have to understand that okay this part don't touch leave it let the paper do its job in order to create that light lighting area and things like that so the more you get advanced the more you've mastered like just doing flat colors solid colors then you can start bringing in shadows and focusing on things like lighting so image choice is also important you need to know what images will help you practice what you need to practice you just don't want to choose a random photo and just say you know what i'm just going to draw it but it's not going to provide any value to you you want to choose specific images 
whether it's because of the posture, you want to practice the posture in order to challenge yourself, whether it's because okay, it's got a lot of shadows and you don't think that you're that great at shadows and you want to improve that, then yeah, choose that image. If you're thinking, okay, I need to master how to use the paper and the, focus on the lighting, then you choose an image that has a lot of light, brightness on the side of the cartoon or you know what I mean, parts of it is like really white and left out and you need to master how you're going to use the colours around it to give it off as a light source type thing. So that's another piece of advice that I would give you guys, especially if you're a beginner and you're trying to advance, then start focusing on things like that as well. But focus on the fundamentals first. Layering, pressure are the key to ballpoint pen. Once you master them too, you can start focusing on all the other little stuff and then start advancing yourself. And sooner or later, you know that you'll be drawing realistic portraits with ease because you're like, okay, I've mastered how to sketch, I've mastered how to do postures, I've mastered how to layer, I've mastered how to pressure, I've mastered how to do shadows, light source, boom, they're all the fundamentals you need in order to start creating realistic drawings. Yeah, that's it for that, that's all I can really say. So, hopefully this video has helped you guys out and giving you guys some tips and made sure that you guys appreciate drawing cartoons a bit more instead of underestimating them and knowing how key they are in order for you to develop your ballpoint pen drawing skills and just drawing skills in general. It's always good to go back to the basics and learn the fundamentals, master the fundamentals in order to develop as an artist. And you can ask most of the best artists and everything what they still use. They still use the basics that they started with in order to create the art they do today. So, that's it for me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give the video a thumbs up. All the materials that I used in this video are all linked in the description. Any link used in the description box will support the channel directly. But don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to Demus Art. That's me, I'm out. Catch you in the next video. 